Hello viewers, this is Wagada Runal taking you through today's tutorial on how to determine the position of the common center of mass for binary stars. Now, binary stars are two stars which have a common center of mass and rotate in a circular orbit in such a way that their centripetal forces form a couple. So consider two binary stars of masses M1 and M2 whose center of mass P is at a distance R1 from the star, from star of mass M1 and at a distance R2 from the star of mass M2 as shown below. So these are the two binary stars. Their movement forms a couple. So at equilibrium, the centripetal force on M1 at P will be equal to the centripetal force on M2 at P at this point. And the centripetal force on M1 at P will be given by M1 R1 omega squared, where omega is the angular velocity. And at for the centripetal force on M2 at P will be given by M2 R2 omega squared. So they, since they form a couple, the angular velocity will be the same. So that's why we put here omega and here the same value for omega. So we can cancel this angular velocity since it's the same and remain with M1 R1 equal to M2 R2. But we also know that this distance from here up to here is R implying that R is equal to R1 plus R2 which is that R1 equal, R equal to R1 plus R2. Therefore, making R the subject, we shall come up with R minus R1. So when you substitute for R2 in this step, we shall come up with M1 R1 equal to M2 in brackets R1 minus, sorry, R minus R1. So when you open brackets, we shall come up with this line, and when we collect like terms, put R on one side, we shall come up with M1 plus M2 in brackets R1, equal to m2 r and therefore you can make r the one the subject to give you this expression for r1 so equation one gives the distance of the common center of mass from the mass m1 so in that case we have determined the position where there is this where the center of mass of these binary stars is located from m1 if you want to get the distance from m2 you simply say R minus R1. So also at equilibrium, the gravitational force between the two stars is equal to centripetal force on any one of the stars. So we, if you consider M1, we shall say gravitational force between the two stars is equal to centripetal force on M1. So the gravitational force is equal to the mass gravitational constant, which is G, times M1 times m2 over the separation which is r squared. So this gives us the gravitational force and to be equal to the centripetal force which is m1 v1 squared over r1. So when you make v1 the square the subject you shall come up with this expression. Get the square you shall come up with that for v1. And we know that period is equal to the circumference which is 2 pi r1 over the velocity and so, so it can also be given in terms of angular velocity by 2 pi over omega where omega is the angular velocity so shall use that knowledge to come up with a solution to this problem a binary star consists of two masses of 1 exponent 30 kilograms and 2 exponent 30 kilograms whose centers are 1 exponent 7 kilometers apart and they rotate about an axis that passes through the center of mass of the system. Calculate the common angular velocity of the masses given that the only force that exists between them is gravitational attraction. So in this case one particle, one star is m1 and the mass is 1 exponent 30. The other one is m2 and the mass is 2 exponent 30 which is there. And the distance apart, which is R1 plus R2, is given by 1 exponent 7 kilometers. So you convert to meters to become 1 exponent 10 meters. So let the center of mass be at a radius at distance R1 from M1. So at equilibrium, centripetal force at M1 is equal to centripetal force at 
m2 so this is the expression for centripetal force at m1 and this for centripetal force at m2 the angular speed is the same so we can cancel it to become to get m1 r1 equal to m2 r2 now we shall substitute we are given m1 and m2 so substitute for m1 and m2 you get a relationship between r1 and r2 remember this is the same here so it can cancel that remain with one here and two here so you shall get r1 equal to two r2 but you also know that r1 plus r2 is equal to one exponent 10 which is the separation of the stars so substitute for r1 to get to come to r2 plus r2 equal to one exponent 10 so add this to this we'll get three r2 equal to one exponent 10 when you divide by three you get your r2 which is 3.333 exponent 9 meters also at equilibrium centripetal force at m2 is equal to gravitational force between m1 and m2 so this is the expression for centripetal force at m2 and this is the ex expression for gravitational force between m1 and m2 so m2 can cancel so that we make omega the subject which is gm1 over r squared r2 now we shall substitute g is a constant it is known 6.67 exponent negative 11 m1 was given as 1 exponent 30 and r was given as 1 exponent 10 you square it multiply by the r2 which you have got as 3.333 exponent 9 when you get the square root you will get 1.415 exponent negative 5 our angular velocity is measured in radians per second and that will be the value for the angular velocity they wanted. And which brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa, a learning platform.